Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 19 of series 6 of the Foy and Jones Show. Today, I'm joined by the founder, the inventor of Space Plug, the wonderful Cliff Pettit. Here we go. Welcome to episode 19 of season six of the Foy and Jones show. All series, all season, we have been inspiring our stars of the future. And today's guest, he's going to be talking about invention, innovation, the KBB industry, and he's going to tell us the Space Plug Plug story. Cliff Petticoat Lane, Cliff Pettit, how are you doing, sir? Nice to meet you, Mr. Foynes. Thank you very much for having uh, us. Foyne Jones to you, sir. Oh, Foyne Jones to you. But, Cliff, listen, it's been, a, it's been a tough journey because it should have been a beautiful drive along the seaside coast from Eastbourne to Brighton. It's like Armageddon out there, mate, isn't it? It's stunning. White out all the way from Eastbourne to Brighton. It is like Armageddon. Charlie, I went for my morning run. How are you doing, sir? We're cracking I on went here. For my morning run, little 5k down around New Haven Marina, West Beach, bump into the film crew of Grace again, they're, they're setting up, and, and I go to the fella, I say, I hope you're not re- re- not, like, not filming a beach scene in the yeah. summer, are you? Yeah. He went, I don't mean they're going to be filming today, as he, no. looked at the, he looked at the grey sky, the rain and the clouds. Beautiful British summertime, how nice does it get? But, but without, without our guests, we don't have a podcast, Cliff, and I'm really excited about learning the space plug story, all right? I'm sorry. really excited about learning that, but without our sponsor, we don't don't have a show. So thank you, Marcel Creasy. I had a great catch up with Marcel last week and we spoke about his exciting plans for MHK Holding UK and the rest of the year. So looking forward to linking up with you, Marcel. And thanks to all of our listeners, whether you are listening in the car or on iTunes or Spotify, or you're watching us on YouTube, or you're looking at our video clips on LinkedIn, without you, we don't even have a series. So let's go Absolutely. to work, Cliff. Let's go to let's work. Do it, so sir. let's do it. Cliff. I've got to know you. I think the story is fascinating. The space plug story story is fascinating. But take a couple of minutes, sir, and just introduce yourself. Tell us what you do and where it all began. So, really, it all begins with my granddad. My granddad is, uh, was a carpenter, um, but I was a child of the 80s, so I was brought up to get an education and get into the business world. But um, having had a farmer career, I went back to setting up a handyman firm and just realised the idea that I'd been carrying around in my head for about 25 years, so still nobody had done it. So we decided to give it a go. So that was about 12 years ago, borrowed three, three grand off my now late dad, and uh, we put in a patent application and we got it. So, wow. um, yeah, that was a bit scary. I would kept it in the dark for a good couple of years, just didn't know what to do with it before I just decided to give it a crack myself and uh, we've brought it to market ourselves. So uh, and we now sold nearly nine million of them. Um, we've taken on some new nationals this year so there's uh, some more space plugs going to be appearing in a, a kitchen near you very soon so let's just slow that down yeah because I, I think you're doing yourself a slight disservice there so 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 this concept this innovation this this time saving space so this this product that makes a difference yeah it's been in your been in your back in mind for 25 years that's five and 20 years yeah, yeah? absolutely that's a pony in my money yeah right? absolutely. So, too, so, too. So, so it's 25 years um you then you've gone for it you borrowed the money off your old man you've got it yeah, patented absolutely still took you a couple of years to do anything with that absolutely All needed right. to find some so, money so, so when was that moment the moment was actually on a site with a mate of mine. Yeah. I'd gone back out to work as Happy Andy Man, and, and I just decided that I wanted to be happy rather than rich. I'd had enough of chasing the dollar and working for pharma companies and all the rest. Just wanted to do what I'd done since I was 10 years old. I'd just been on the tools because mum and dad had divorced when I was a kid, and my granddad was teaching me on the tools literally at 10. At 14 years old, I built the first conservatory. Um, I, I tell you a story at 14. I was tying myself to a 45-foot willow tree and cut it down with an electric chainsaw. Can you imagine in this day and age letting a teenager tie themselves to a tree and take a tree down in a suburban back garden branch at a time? I mean, so a, t- it's a, t- a teenager with a chainsaw terrifies me, Cliff, to be honest. I uh, did a top job. We came I'm, down I'm, a mate, branch I'm, at a time. Mate, I didn't take out a single fence. I was well chuffed. Sir, circular economy, mate. It's, uh, it's all, all over it. All over it. But yeah. so when, when was this? So what, period, what, what, what passage you played? What, what date was this? When so the, this, uh, so uh, the, the, what 
what the date when? No, not, not the train, not the yeah, train, the space plane. Yeah, the, 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 the beginning of the space plane. So we're now. Oh, we're interested in the train. We are. If you've got any footage, of, more if you've got any footage of you and the chainsaw, Charlie, <laughs> we'll have a go, <laughs> won't we? But we are here to I talk about. I can show you how to do it. Space <laughs> plug, please, Cliff, please, come on. Mate, you might. Yeah. So, Space Plug came out 2011. 2011. 2011 we there got the we pattern, go. Which is rather special because we did it about 100 years after Raw Plug, which was bizarre. That was started by two brothers. You're my and best guest ever. 100 years like, later, she's great. me and my brother started Space Plug. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't think, I'm not sure we'll ever match them, that's for sure. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's a, it's a lot of synergy there, which is brother? rather bizarre. My brother's six years older than me, he still yeah. bullies me. And, uh, <laughs> but he still puts them all in, he puts them all in the back. For us. What's his name? I used to get bullied by Darth What's Vader's son. <laughs> get that one if you want to claim to fame. Darth Vader's sons used to come and beat me up with him. Yeah, he's from East Point, isn't he? But this was all Croydon. Uh, it was Croydon. The, Dave Prowse was a lovely man. Yeah. His two sons, Stephen James, were best mates with with my brother. Mm. So that's one of my little party claims to fame. So I used to get beaten up by Darth Vader's I like Vader's to think kids. the Lord of the Sixth is a listener and a viewer <laughs> of the Floyd Jones show, mate. Do you he know might what I mean? be. He might be. You know, yeah. Lord Vader. Shout yeah. out to Lord Vader. How do you think we got yeah. this popular? Oh, there you go. <laughs> Mate, use your fall. So, yeah. so, so <laughs> we've we've got oh, we've got oh, Darth oh. we got Darth Vader. What you, you, do you want? You, we've got Darth Vader, Cliff. We've got your brother that bullied you. Yeah. We've got you and a chainsaw. Yeah. We've shout out to Rule Plug fans of the show. show? Let's yeah. talk about Space Plug and what oh, yeah. these products do. <laughs> They Please. Are, all right, all right. I'll give you the lowdown. If you don't know what a space plug is, space plug is a tiny little, well, an adjustable spacer fixing is what it's formally called. Yeah, We're yeah. not allowed to call it a space plug because the uh, patent people and the brand guidelines people don't don't like you doing that. It's the old Hoover vacuum cleaner. So they are undoubtedly space plugs, but we're not allowed to call them space plugs. So they are adjustable spacer fixings. And if you're a carpenter or you're an installer and you have a, a little gap to make up, traditionally over the years we cut off little lengths of wood or we cut off little bits of pipe or we cut a bit of copper pipe or something and we'd, we'd put a screw down the middle of that. Um, with a space plug, just means it's there already done for you and then you've got that infinite adjustment once it's there in situ. So you just whack a screw through that, you can still see your raw plug, then you adjust it to size then tighten it up. So it's always done in five seconds with a space plug, it's dead easy. It's like adjustable legs really, isn't it? They're like, little uh, adjustable legs, yeah. yeah, very much, which is why the latest invention has come out really, the, the, adjust, the adjustable legs came on the floor and then if you look back actually if you go into our brochure on our website, you'll See, back in the back in the sixties, the side panels used to reach all the way to the floor before the kitchen legs were put on. Yeah. And so that's what we're saying now. Now we've basically got a little leg to the wall. Why don't you guys take the side panels back to the edge? Because we don't want them. We have to keep cutting round them and and hacking up people's brand new units. So why are they all of these years we've designed a system whereby one it stalls the installer from actually putting the thing in. He's got to cut it up before he even puts it in. And this idea that we just keep hacking out these side panels. Now sustainability has become such a thing. It's like, well, actually, if you look at some of the size of these companies, I won't name names, but one of the largest company that, that has a, a 65 mil void at the back of its kitchen could be looking at saving about 150,000 square metres of board a year with, with Space Plug Evolution. So, um, yeah, that's about 25,000 I mean, that, that, that's, that's a pretty attractive, attractive saving from a term of sustainability, term of time. To, you know, that, that's adding value in so many ways. But, Cliff, I want to go back. Right? I, want, I want to go back to this... The, because you mentioned some big numbers. You said, like, we've knocked out 9 million. So yeah. that's a fair old market stall if, you, if you're knocking out 9 million a summit, yeah? So I'm going down your petticoat lane route. Yeah. But, but talk to me about like, about the first few orders, when the magic started happening. So I'd imagine that's a, that's a special story for anyone on a start-up journey. Absolutely. It, it was an amazing few weeks, and, it, and it's crazy. And I can still remember the first few people that bought them, and how do I package them, how do I get them out, how do I get there? And I think that was one of the things, not necessarily the first couple of orders, but um, I remember we, we had my brother's son over visiting and, and we were going off for a few days at Centre Parks. And with having just launched the, the website and it was probably three or four months in, we're starting to get some orders trickling through to the website. 
And uh, can remember panicking in centre parks. If anybody's been to centre parks, you know the Wi-Fi isn't brilliant, and I had to keep running down to reception with the laptop. Tell trying me, to tell, get tell in. me you did a run. Tell me you was on one of their bikes and oh, you yeah. pedaled down. Yeah, no, yeah. I definitely yeah. pedaled. Yeah. I do. That was, that was the, oh, that's the best way to go, isn't it? Everywhere is on a bike. So to cut the the, the long story short, I remember when, by the time we came back with centre parks, we had about ten bags to to take down to the post office, and we, we sort of going around the, to the post office. With this Great, awful. Yeah. And me and my brother are like, look at this, we've sold 10 packs. You know, how amazing is this? And then uh, I think it was about four or five years ago, we had exactly the same moment as we stood in the logistics warehouse and uh, sent 24 pallets to, to Howden's. So that was pretty amazing to see boxes upon boxes upon boxes and packs upon packs upon packs. And uh, you'd had this moment with my brother over this, like, dozen packs around the post office. And then suddenly here we were with 25 pallet loads going, wow. going off to Howden's. So, yeah, you, you get moments like that, and it's really, really lovely. It's really, really lovely. And I, I sort of sit out the practical side, so if anybody's bought any space plugs at, uh, in retail, they, they will have been put in that bag by my brother. He is dispatched, so when you get your posh email saying dispatch is sending these out today, that basically means my brother has stuck them in the post too. <laughs> um, and so anything that goes wrong there is entirely his fault. But when we, if we have a beer and we get together or whatever, he sort of says, you don't understand it quite so much like I do, because he counts literally every single one that goes out the door. Yeah. Whereas I'm in the flat round the corner from him and, and it's all numbers on a computer screen to me yeah. um, but he sort of tangibly has to get these boxes from the factory and turn them into retail stock and then he says you know you just have no idea how many we're sending out you know, yeah. because you're you're not there physically at it. So, yeah, he's 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 my confidant and my reminder, and he's the, he's the practical help. So, yeah. yeah, it's nice to be with with family and business. I think I think it's an it's an amazing story, and and when you look at you look at the industry itself and the, and the challenges the industry faces in terms of apprentices, skills, you know, you know the, the way it's going to evolve. Um, having a product that, that innovates, having a product that adds the value that it does, and you know it's got a sustainable element to it. I think it's something that that, that you should be re- really proud of. But looking at the the industry as a whole, and you're talking to lots of different suppliers, you're talking to lots of different manufacturers. You know, I've, yeah. I've seen what you're doing. Yeah. Well, how how do you see? The, the next few years for the industry, where do you see the challenges, Cliff? I think that the, the challenge absolutely is bringing the youngsters on, is, yeah. is, is bringing youngsters into the business and enthusing people of, of practical stuff now. The, 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 the amount of, of tech that has come out in the time that one little plastic physical widget has, has come out. I, I, I talk to people all the time and they're saying, I just get approached by app after app after app. And as a salesman, I'm taking it, you know, I'm being asked all the time for technology. And I, I think we really are now so totally swamped by technology. It's, it's when are we going to get a little bit human again? Mm. What's going on with the AI is, to my mind personally, I know it's not everybody's, but to my mind personally, I find in AI is, is quite scary. Um, there was a, I understand there was a new website launched yesterday that is now going to artificial use artificial intelligence to build you a website in in seconds well that's just every web builder's job in the country has just gone and and that's if that's not scary i, d- I don't mm. know what is so i just think we could do not that I'm anti-technology. I'm certainly not anti-technology, and technology has been a huge benefit to me doing what I'm doing. There's no way as an entrepreneur could I have produced the stuff that I've produced in the last 10 years without the advances in computing. But there just needs to be a readdress of the balance, the attitude towards it. Does it have to be the be-all and end-all? Mm. Can we not have it in a little bit more balance, just put the put the brakes on it a little bit while we all catch up there is that i mean we 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 as a recruitment business we 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 have lots of different we have a we have a video technology which incorporates ai now we've got a crm database which is incorporating ai yeah. we've got content which incorporates ai to to an extent but i would say we're a very but very beginner level yeah. um Every aspect of that still needs people. It still needs. It still needs a personality. Absolutely. It needs a personality driving it. It needs. It needs added extras there. I know. You know when a message or or, or something is generated automatically. I can tell. 
you know, because yeah. you can you can just see that. But as artificial intelligence is getting better, as it as it's developing empathy, you know, people mm. are telling me this. And what what the future holds, I think, I, th- I think there there will be there will be challenges faced by everyone. But the yeah. internet didn't wipe out everyone. You know, we're we're there. Um, yeah, I, I, I share I share your concern that, that if the, if the website is able to generate, it is able to do that to push a button. Yeah, mm. let's see what comes out the other end and, yeah. s- and see how it goes there. But but it is it is a relevant conversation to have and it's not it, it's, it can be spoken about quite terrifying and everyone's an expert everyone's a guru everyone's telling yes. you what you got to do I'm like hold on rain it in yeah. it's only been out 10 Definitely. minutes um, and, and, and we have to see that there but but looking at Space Plug and what you've achieved um, what, what are you most proud of? Um I think the fact that it's been a family business. Yeah. I, I think that I haven't just gone out there and borrowed a load of money and chucked a load of marketing at it. It's been a deliberate thing for me. Mm. Um, and uh, this has come up just recently. And um, it's been a deliberate thing for me that the, the the idea itself and what was behind it was enough to grow it organically. Yeah. It didn't need to just go on every social media channel within a fortnight and, and have thousands and thousands spent on it straight away. We weren't well funded. We're the, the fundamentally, this business comes to me as a, as a means to live and a, as a means to exist. Mm. It was never to be a millionaire. It was, to, it was to have a business. And so the fact that it now provides a living for me and my brother... That's its most important job done, in all honesty, if I'm really honest, that we that we can now make a living. It's expanding now. We've, we've got back orders on the on the brand new product that's coming out this year, the Mini. There's mm. there's already orders for five hundred thousand of those. As I said, we just picked up two new multinationals, so undoubtedly we'll we'll our turnover. In the next eighteen months, will be probably double what it's been in the last eighteen months. Well, which I've, is I've quite got exciting. some. Of I've got some of your product. I've got. I've got the. I've got the limited edition. That's the limited edition. I've got, special I've got, I've got for the you, limited Mr. edition. Tone. I've got the limited, limited edition fiddler. Yeah. You know, for, for me there, and I've got the. This is my favourite. I've got the little blue helper. The Charlie. little blue helper. Yeah. This, this is the little blue <laughs> helper, uh, and I've got the. I've got the one that most Not people. Not suggesting you needed a little. Uh, blue who helper, knows, of mate? Who knows? It's, uh, I'm... I'm I'm nearly 50, mate, so do you know what I mean? Uh, all what I'm support, saying is I'm su- 53 and we're ahead of you. All support, all support <laughs> is welcome. All yeah. support is welcome. Yeah. But, but, but let's, let's, let's think about, well, let's get to know you. So, so away from the inventing, away from the cutting down trees, away from spending time with your brother who's bullying you on a daily basis, basis. still, yeah. um, and you've had to carry that weight all, all, all your life. All my life. Um, you got a passion for scuba diving. Scuba diving, I quite like a bit of scuba yeah. diving. It's- Dive with sharks in uh, in Australia and, and and Egypt and places like that. I'm, I, I can't really describe it as a passion, if I'm honest. No. It, it's but an enjoyment. Would you it, then? It's an enjoyment. It's a pleasure. Yeah. And uh, I'm more one of these uh, what we call bimble dives. So you would just go around in sort of 10, 15 Basically metres. A bimble dive away. later, Charlie. You want a bimble dive, <laughs> Charlie? Will know what he's I'm got. He's got out there. He's got a little blue elter. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and have a bimble. Why yeah. not? <laughs> bimble diving is like 10, 15 metres. So it's not very deep. Yeah. Usually, very pleasant tropical waters, either in Egypt or on the yeah. on the Barrier Reef or something like that. And that's when it's really no stress diving. You can sort of see the top of the water. You're only sort of 30, 50 feet down, and it's easy. And uh, there's lots of nice creatures and lots of nice coral to to say hello to. So you've got to be if you're passionate diving, you've got to be passionate in the UK. Like you say, you're often down to less than a meter visibility diving in the UK, and. Uh, perhaps 10, 12 degrees of water in a dry suit. And, yeah, you've got to be passionate to want to do that. Fair play to you. Definitely, bro. definitely. The passion is singing. I'm a frustrated singer, but yeah, I'm no good in the You're going to get Charlie then, mate. Yeah, yeah. yeah my, my uncle was an opera singer. My mum was an opera singer. My uncle sung at Covent Garden thousands of times. He used to work during the day in London. And I'm then thinking go, go and compare. In Covent Garden. <laughs> Very much like him. My mum actually knows that family. Oh, of course. <laughs> does, he, does he hang out with Darth Vader? Yeah, no, no, separate circles. Oh, Don't okay. confuse yeah. the audience, Peter. Yeah. Don't confuse them. Okay. No, it's, uh, yeah, my, my mum knows his mum, I think. Right, okay. She tells me she does anyway. Somebody's yeah. going to go and look that up, and it's probably complete rubbish. But That's not like everyone in East London knows demented. the craze, is it? Because, that's right. Like, do you know yeah, what I mean? That's right. Well, if you're South London, we all know the Richardsons. So, the Richardsons you know? in South London. Yeah, I know. Yeah, London, I know. Yeah. I mean, no, no, let's... let's Let's just 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 take a breath, Cliff. So, first of all, I knew you'd bring personality into the studio. <laughs> One does try. I, I knew you'd bring humour into the studio. May I say, 
You've exceeded all my <laughs> expectations, mate. It's an absolute fucking pleasure. Um, we do put parental guidance on, 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 on the podcast when it goes out, so I'm happy to let, let the Lord Mayor, right. a, a little bit of Lord Mayor in. But yeah. let's, let's talk about what we, what we do. We're going to break now, right? But a- after the break, I'm going to take you to take a breath. I'm going to get you to breathe, all right? And we're going to and we're going to think about what the future holds for the next generation, and we're going to talk about how we can inspire the next inventor. We're going to talk about how we can inspire the next entrepreneur, the next startup, or just someone beginning their career to do- dive into what you've achieved and how you've achieved it. We'll talk about what's next for Space Plug. We, we, we dive into what the future looks like for you, and we'll wrap things up just talking really about what we can expect and see from you over the coming months and, yeah, advice for our next generation. How's that sound Sounds for you? like a plan, Stan. Sounds like a plan. Ladies and gentlemen, that was one of the most enjoyable halves of an episode we have recorded this year. Cliff, you're like a tornado, mate. Like, <laughs> you're like a tornado of ideas, personality, name drop. Dropping. He's a friend to the stars. I can't believe we've got Darth Vader. Go. I mean, I only from go comparing because he said opera singing. It's been absolutely brilliant. But more importantly, you've carried an idea around. I want to finish the finish the first half of the episode because so many people listening to this clip, they'll have an idea, yeah. they'll have a passion, they'll have a side hustle, but they may maybe haven't dreamt big enough or followed their heart or followed their dreams. And you you get caught in this onto this hamster wheel of life of. You know, I live to work, I work to live, I, I earn my money, I spend exactly my money. And, and you're like, 10 years past, 20 years past, and oh, I could have done that, could have done that. I say to people all the time, we've got one go at this. Absolutely. Follow your dreams. And 9 million of these little fellas have been, you've got into the industry, mate, since yep. 2011. That's something we've got to say well done for. Bless so you. Thank we'll you explore very much that indeed. after the break. That was the first half of episode 19. Life-changing recruitment for the KBB, builders, merchant and construction industries. Creative social content, specialist knowledge, world-leading video technology, helping you find career happiness and helping your business attract its stars of the future. We are Foyne Jones. This is what we do. Welcome back to episode 19, and I'm calling this episode the crazy space plug story because I I can't think of any better way to put it. It's amazing what you've achieved, all right? It's amazing what you achieved. But I want to talk about something which is a bit personal and perhaps perhaps, perhaps not as... Well, I think think the overall outcome is, Cliff, but do you want to share with the listeners what happened in China? Oh, no, I can't do that. That's terrible. That's terrible. Um, I'll tell you what I will tell you. Come on, give give me something. There was nine of us on a backpacking tour going around the Tour of China. And out of nine of us, and uh, and I'm six foot three. I'm I'm, I'm six foot three. Out of nine of us, we had four blonde girls. And I was the shortest out of five fellas. And if you know, if you're doing the the basic side of China, not the same, you know there's two things. One is being blonde is quite a fascination for the Chinese. And one is being tall. (laughs) So being in Tiananmen Square, this group of four blonde girls and, and... and five guys that were all over six foot three. It was like a pop group. Yeah. It was just like a pop group on tour. And we had so many... He kept little did you, did you prank it into just one cornetto or like nice and No, 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 no. I, I'm good when it comes to opera. I'm show tunes. I'm okay. show tunes, me. Oh, yeah, it's Uncle what's, Tell. What's your go-to? Uncle, Uncle Tell Angles? could do no uh, Ness and Dorma. What did I, chess I was in? I was saying there was uh, two thousand of us in the Congress Theatre and at, at uh, the opening night of chess when I was twenty five. Yeah, if I could stop physically shaking when anybody looked at me, I'd have been a, I'd have been a contender, Charlie. Oh mate, I've got, 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 got a voice, player, right? but the spotlight. Does that is mean no we're not making me. a band together after yeah. all? Then Charlie? I, mean, I, mean, I mean, Charlie's always looking for always looking for people <laughs> to get on the road with him. I, 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 well, I'll tell you what, we'll, I'll send you one of the DVDs and you can clip that and video link that to it. And we'll, we'll, send me we'll a tape. We had, that, we, had that with, we, had, we had that when Nathan was on last series, didn't yeah, he? He's yeah. Like, oh, yeah, I wanted to be Nathan for Virtual World. Oh, yeah. He's left Virtual Worlds now, but but Nathan was, you know, I wanted to be a band and I did this, I did that. Yeah. Next thing, he's sending me in Charlie's albums, yeah, his yeah. things like that. And we're like, this is so <laughs> perp. But, and, I, and I love getting to know people behind the brands, getting to know people behind the business and getting to know the story because 
that's important, and, and that kind of leads us to this part of the, the episode because this series, Cliff, if you look to your left, it's about okay. it's about inspiring our stars of the future. Okay, so I just want to dive on that because you took your you took your concept to market. You're, you're, you're ten plus years in now. The challenges you faced in making that happen, others are beginning their journey. What advice mm. would you give to them as they're starting out? Don't hesitate. Don't hesitate. You've got to, got to go for it right from the off. Is uh, use everything at your disposal and and enjoy it. The more mm. you enjoy it, the more you want to do it. The more you do it, the more success you'll have. So I think that's the key to it. Is is to just don't hold yourself back. I think the difference between perhaps the those that are twenty five now and when we were twenty five. I think I'm two or three older than you, Pete, but we're pretty close. And I think that was the difference. It was it was a big deal to to try and think that you were going to be a big deal in yeah. in nineteen eighty five. Um, and um, I was ten in 1990, I was ten in ninety five. I should be saying, shouldn't I? I was twenty then. So I was I was born nineteen seventy. Me, right? I'm five years behind you, mate. Right, right. So yeah, in in nineteen. I mean, this is the middle aged men podcast. Do you know what I mean? It so is. can we do yeah. a grumpy old man? I don't, I don't think we can do Rather grumpy. The stars of the I don't future. think I don't think we can do grumpy old men. I think we can do like two old men having a <laughs> laugh with a young with a young producer with in the, the studio. Snap potato and the Mickey out but, of but, us. We, yeah. but 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 it is important though, isn't it? I mean, you said about that. Don't hesitate. Go for it. But but yeah. people do hesitate. People do think what if. So let's talk Absolutely. about some of the things that can go wrong. So what were your biggest challenges? Like those moments when you're like. Oh no! So the the big one was um, having the tooling made in China when yeah. we first started out. The tooling was made in China. Um, got some samples and uh, and hence we got some. I'm of just going to fiddle blue. with my space bus. You fiddler. carry on yeah. with your fiddler, and. Um, so they they stick the, the the tooling on a boat to to my little manufacturer in Tunbridge Wells and it arrives and you have got people waiting on space plugs and they say it don't work and uh, we had three weeks of absolute panic they could not get the thing to work and at one point they were going to fly it back to China to get repaired and then fly it back here and then they were going to fly a Chinese uh, engineer over from China and eventually our, our guys just got it just at the death. But yeah, that's three weeks of big, pretty big stress. You've just talked a lot of people up to say we're about to get some space plugs and you're going to like these and these are going to be really handy and the, you've managed to get them on the hook a little bit and then all of a sudden you just go... Phew. And there's no space plugs there, and you're, and you're gutted. So I'm going through it again exactly at the minute. So literally, the tool-in should arrive for the space plug mini from today. And we, we, people on Instagram keep saying, when's the space plug mini coming? When's the mini coming? And there's, there's, there's quite a fury waiting on the, the little minis. And uh, I don't know is the answer. <laughs> they don't tell you, yeah, until, and, until it actually lands on the doorstep and uh, gets unpacked. And, and then you can have anything from might just plug in and work and start putting out space plugs tomorrow. But it's it, it's quite a complicated bit of kit, a bit of tooling. So it could be two or three weeks before we actually start so, to so, get proper so supplies is, is, out. So is the actual phys the physical making of the product, yeah. so, so getting it ready to be sold, yeah. you know, I have a million, I want to sell a million, I have yeah. 10, I want to sell 10. Yeah. Is that part of the journey harder than, hello, Mr. 10 potential customers, Will you buy my product? It's, it, yes, because fundamentally, at the minute, you've got you. You can't go to market. It's hard to go to market. Yeah. So, you know, and say, would you want to buy some of these if I made some of yeah. these? Would you like these so if I maybe had them I, in the next if couple? If I maybe of, yeah. had a million of them, yeah. would you maybe thinking about buying them off me? You know, for roughly this there? sort of price. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You know, it's it's not easy market research by any yeah. by any stretch of the imagination. So yeah, it was it was quite tough to actually say I'm now got to put my money where my mouth is. We've got this patent. We've got it to grant and kept it secret for a couple of years, and now it's about raising another 25, 30 grand to actually go, I need to make these couple of small cars so they make these space plugs. And um, you've got a faith in yourself at that point. Mm. Um, and that's where a very nice lady came into my life um, who is a very good friend of mine. Um, she, 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 I just needed some faith and it wasn't like I needed a lot of money but I, I went to a lady who's, who's, who's not involved in, in the KBB industry and she's not involved really in Space Plug at all she's been very much a silent partner of mine she's got a little 20% share in Space Plug but it was really Anna that, that, that put five grand in to, towards the patent fees um, and then gave us 20 grand to just put in and get started with some marketing without going deep into borrowing and deep into debt so it was just a little a bit of faith really 
And it was that idea that there was somebody else out there that had listened to me. Um, It was on a skiing trip. It was on a skiing trip, just a a bunch of us that that, that were skiing together. And uh, we got chatting. She's a very nice lady. Um, And, um, yeah, she's been an absolute great help to me personally. And she has been a great confidence builder. So she doesn't really put in on space plug, and I don't don't see her very often. We perhaps only talk two or three times a year now. She's, She's always off on some yoga retreat or doing something amazing somewhere she lives in Forest Row and um, I know Forest Row pretty well so, yeah I mean, I do can, you yeah. yeah well you know the Forest there, Row wheel yeah 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 a but, friend of mine calls them knit their own sandals from yogurt brigade yeah my my eldest my eldest son has got some friends from they went to school and they've got friends and family from right. Forest Row yeah. so there, there is a certain DNA that that area creates I think Ben Elton lives there and and a few people like that a few of the Game of Thrones actors there, I know that. Yeah, yeah, and um, I mean, you probably hang out with them and Darth Vader and. Well, you know. we do, I did for a few months. I yeah, did for a few months, so. and it was quite fascinating. You know, I've never been around somebody's house who had a comedy theatre in their back garden. <laughs> You know, it's, yeah. it was it's not, like that. Uh, what I would say, it's not the real world. It's, it's got its own kind no, of, it's got its, got its, own, its own kind of own. ecosystem going down there. Isn't yeah, it? ecosystem yeah. is a good word. But, but, it's but, 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 but Cliff, let's go back to that. What what Anna's Anna's done, and shout out to Anna. She'll hopefully be a listener to yeah, the show. Hopefully but, she will. You know, if she could fit fit us in with the yoga and uh, and and the holistic stuff, we could get to Simon Le Bon through Anna. What Anna name? Simon Le Bon is godfather to Anna's children. So yeah, so there's a little name drop for you. <laughs> I haven't met Simon yet. Hungry like a wolf. Hungry like a yeah. wolf. Right. Yeah. Duran, okay. Duran. So what that says though is that someone someone was there. Gave me you some know, faith. You met, yeah. And you met them you met them in not a traditional raising capital type type no, project, exactly. you know. It, so so someone saw the potential in you, saw the potential in the product. Gave you that confidence to go for it, Absolutely. and is actually acted by the sound of it like a sounding board, like a mentor, like She's a, been a fantastic like, like an mentor, advisor, yeah. and people that, that are actually they want the best for you, the best for the business, the best for the product. Yep. That's invaluable. Absolutely, and, and, and finding the right person and being careful because there are there are vultures out there, there are people who pull your pants down out there. Exactly. And, and I hear the horror stories of when things have gone wrong, yep. you know, and people are overcommitted or they've overborrowed or they've been, you know, they've, they've signed something really special away. Someone's yep. taken advantage of them. So, yep. so that, that's, a, that's a powerful message there that, you know, that confidence she gave you has helped get you where you are today. The confidence that she gave me more than the product, yeah. yeah. Because that's that's the truth of it, you know. It doesn't it doesn't matter what you've got there. You're talking about what you are as a human. You've got to believe it yourself, though. You? you have to be able to yeah. believe it yourself, and and that's why it's been such a slow progress. It was difficult for me to believe in this modern technological world that such a simple mechanical device has still been overlooked for mm. so long. You can't think a two part piece of plastic can have any space in the world that hasn't already been created. So it was very hard for for me to be, to believe that actually millions of people will find it, and it's it's something really if. If I'm honest, we, de- we delivered, well, I took purchase orders from two new nationals uh, just four weeks ago. Well done. And that was the first time since I started I shed a little tear. I genuinely did. And just sat in my room on my own and just went, wow, you've actually really done what you set out to do now. And, and, and everything I else think it's is just important. on top. I think it's important to take the time to do that as well because, um, yeah. you know, I, I, I'm... I'm I enjoy what I do and, mm. you know, I, I celebrate what I do. You know, I, I interrupted our pre-show mm. meeting because I had a call yeah. that I couldn't miss. Yeah, and, totally. and, and I And I bring something and I'm like, look, this is an ideal cliff. I need 15 minutes. You're like, don't worry, mate. I'll make myself busy. Like, yeah. I'll have a mooch around. Yeah. But but that that's the, the pressure of owning your business. You, you've got one chance and you want to maximise that. So to go and secure those purchase orders... Why shouldn't you shed a little tear? Why shouldn't Absolutely. you have a beer? Why shouldn't yeah, you celebrate? Yeah. Because actually, we're all battling to get to that point. Yeah. And we're all battling for that element of recognition and success. I and, and I think that that's what that's what inspires me so much about the Space Plug story. It's 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 begun with your granddad. You know, yeah. and, you, and you said that with such love when you said that. You know, it's a family business involving your brother, and 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 it's yeah. now um, it's now local as well, Upfield. Uh, yeah, yeah. Some of the production yeah, or all absolutely. the production. Yeah, yeah. I hadn't thought of it like that. To be there honest. you go. Yeah, I'm here the to whole, help. The whole space plug is is all Sussex based now. Yeah, yeah. We've got my my best friend Johnny's up in uh, Halifax. So shout out to Johnny who's in all our videos. He was he was amazing. He's up he's up north. I do spend a lot of time driving up north. I must admit. So that that's where the people 
people are that I need tend to be tend to be up north. So this, the, I, I can see a why you would end up in that in, in yeah, that demo. I can miles. see why, but, but I can see the, the, the I can see the logic behind that's where I'm going to go because yeah. there's there's value there if those meetings go well. Absolutely, absolutely. So there's a lot of time been spent on the M1. Yeah, um, yeah. and uh, yeah, you get. Do you ever mix it up? Go down the A1. It. Uh, no. what, what about a bit of like no, what, a about, what of about a bit of M1 A, A, A40 M40 attempt, a bit of that I've attempted M40 I've gone yeah. a few times I mean yeah. you're turning your nose up mate you don't look like you're a fan oh, it's, it's a struggle isn't it it's hard breaking habits you're, that, talking a, still, uh, you're talking to a 53 year old you are you are you, you, you are, you are wait now. till you get to my age you you'll be stuck <laughs> in your ways you are turning this into a middle aged man traffic motorway podcast so we're going to get the head out of this let's talk about what's next though so what have we got to look forward to on the space plug evolution, the journey? What's coming next, sir? Well, what's coming next is what I hope is, is a lot of the nationals and, uh, and a lot of the European nationals get behind evolution. So what I really need is... Whilst I've been out there, this is your shop. This is your window. Well, this is my shop window. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a second to have my shop window. Go and for talk it, to all the installers. Butter, 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 butter. All the installers that have been buying space plugs is that if you want to stop buying space plugs, please just go to your manufacturers and say, you guys can give us the space plugs, and you can speed up our fit, and you can save some material, and you can make us stop cutting up your brand new units just by turning the space plug evolution. They will actually save some money. The fitters will all get their space plugs free of charge and the customers don't get their brand new units cut up so if can somebody can tell me the hole in this rationale <laughs> that actually says let's save some timber make the job easier make the job more professional for the customer and make the life easier for the fitter then I'd love to hear from them so feel free to write in on the answers but, but on a postcard I knew he was going to say answers on a postcard yeah. please I knew he was going to say that yeah. 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 Cracker Jack Cracker Jack yeah here yeah. we go look. Yeah. here we go Grange yeah. Hill if you haven't got a postcard you can just do it on a sealed down envelope yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Cracker Jack was just before Grain Deal, wasn't it? So, yeah. so uh, happy old days. Charlie will have no idea yeah. what we're talking no, about there, mate. The yeah, he would have absolutely yeah. no idea. But yeah, yeah. do you know the passion? And I'm going to get Charlie, you have to cut that bit there, mate. We have to have <laughs> yeah. that. Cliff needs that bit. That's not a party <laughs> political broadcast on behalf of Space Plug yeah. and, the entire, and the entire installation absolutely. industry. It's the industry. Industry. Yeah. Installation industry should, yeah. should be behind this. So yeah, we're, you need to be up at the installer show, the KPB absolutely. show, just talk, on repeat. We're talking oh, to Damien repeat. at the oh, moment, repeat. so hopefully Damien's going to give us a chance to Damien, come and demonstrate. Top, top guy, mate, yeah. friend of the show, absolutely. Uh, two time, three time Point Young show appearance. Fantastic character that man is, and the stuff that he gets up to is amazing. Yeah, all totally I'm saying, mate. Next time you speak to Mr. Waters, two pie, two mash, two liquor. Job is done. that what does it for me? That's, that, that, that'll get right. you through the front door, mate. We're, but again, Damien's we're been. For you, Mr. Dame, Dame, Damien and BIKBI BI, doing amazing yeah. things. Uh, is, what what incredible. they're doing for apprentices and what they're doing for industry. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah. They've just announced their diversity ambassador. You know, they're doing some really, really great stuff. Yeah, and, and I see the work you're doing and where it's being picked up by people that can really influence the industry in the right way. So long, long may it continue. Bless you, sir. Thank you very much indeed. You, you enjoyed yourself today? I've had an awesome time. I've had an awesome time. It's 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 a bit scary. You're not used to it. And, uh, yeah, I'm a bit of a random character, as you might have noticed. We could deal with that. We could <laughs> but, um, I'd say this series, Charlie, would you say is the most random? Yeah, we've had, we've had all sorts. We, we've had you're some, a natural for it, mate. Well, you're I mean, a natural I mean, for I mean, it. I mean, we'll honestly, go, uh, I, I mean, I've got one for you. Plug cast. Plugcast, yeah, yeah, there you we know, go. You know, yeah. a, a series of you with the installer, with the supplier, with the homeowner, you know. That'd be interesting, It'd be wouldn't it? chatting yeah. for days. Fil oh. fil film, film, filmed at the little pub in uh, Forest Row. Away well, you go. What yeah. more do you want? After three Morettis, and it just Black doesn't Peters. even stop Black, there. Black Peters. Is it, I don't know what it's called, but it used to be Black Peters Bar in Forest Row, didn't it? It used to be the... Uh, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah well, there it you can't go. be called that now, can it, in Forest Row? Well, I mean, that's what the sign's called, isn't it? It, was. it? it definitely yeah. was. But but look, yeah. thank you so much, Cliff. You're more than welcome for Sam. being part Thank of the Foyne so Jones show. You've made episode 19 a really special episode. So let's just go right back to you spoke about your your, your invention, you spoke about the, the, the challenges you've been through. I want you to give me something to take away, to give to give to the next generation. And people are thinking, should I do this? What will I be able to do it? What's the worst that can happen? Give give me some give me three bits of advice for, for people who are thinking of starting their own business or bringing something to market. Three bits of advice to wrap the episode up. Go for it. Don't be frightened. Just yep. go for it straight off the bat. 
don't think you need money, don't think you need stuff. That's, that's, that's the most important thing, is don't put up imaginary barriers. The chances are that whatever it is you think you need before you start, you probably don't, just come mm. from a different angle. So definitely the first thing is go for it. And, and, and uh, yeah, don't, don't put up any pretend barriers to yourself. Um, well, the second thing is be yourself. Just enjoy it. Enjoy the trip. Like you say, we're only here once. And, uh, yeah, I wish I'd uh, had a slightly different take on realising that, uh, yeah, the, the trip is every day. It, it, it really is every day. And, um, yeah, just be yourself. Just be yourself. If so, there, there's, I think there's an opportunity now for people that um, we're really not being judged or coerced or talked to in the in the ways that we were 25 years ago, perhaps. No. And and that's 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 really there, there's, nice. There's a that's freedom really... of work. There's a flexibility of work. There is a approach to life now. And I think yeah. I think the loss of life that we all saw during the pandemic has it, it, it's changed people's thoughts on on a lot of stuff. They're getting it. But but I'm gonna I'm gonna this is. What you said there, just if you break it down, you know, go for it. Go for it, yeah. Make every day count. I think everybody number has one, to go for go it. For it. Yeah. Number two, make every day count. Yeah. And number three, be yourself. Yeah. Yeah. They're that three, pretty They're sound. three pretty grown up, sophisticated takeaways. Yeah. And do you know what you did? You've done that from the heart. And I think yeah. that's the most important part. You're, you've been a brilliant, brilliant guest. I've, Bless I've you, enjoyed sir. this episode. We're going to go again with something special towards the end of this year. And, and I can't wait to, to see what the future of Space Bug brings. Thank you so much for being part of the show, Cliff. It's been a brilliant, brilliant episode. Charlie, Bless this you, Charlie. man's. <laughs> This man's exceptional. What a guest. What a guest. What a podcast. What an episode. We'll see you next time for what sadly, what sadly will be the last episode of season six. Cliff, it's been an absolute pleasure, mate. Thank you for being part of the show. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, as I said, that's the end of the show. Thanks for listening. Make sure you check out next week's episode as we will keep inspiring our stars of the future.